In today's video, we will learn about deep vein thrombosis and known as DVT. It is defined as formation of a semi-solid coagulum within the venous system means a bolus form is coagulated in the veins or the venous system of the body within the superficial system and within the deep system. In superficial system, it is known as superficial thrombophlebitis and in deep system it is known as deep venous thrombosis because blood clots are formed in deep veins. The main reason why DVT occurs is due to abnormalities of the vein wall, blood flow or constituents of blood that are virtuose triad. The most important factor is a hospital admission for the treatment of a medical or surgical condition. This is the diagram of virtuose triad. Triad means three components. The one is changes in the vessel wall, endothelial damage. Second is coagulability of blood that will lead to thrombophilia. And the third one is changes in the blood flow that may lead to stresses of blood flow and causes thrombosis of deep veins. And these three combine together and make a virtuose triad. And this is the most important uh, thing or the component to remember in deep vein thrombosis. Now what is vein compression or stasis and hypercoagulability? Veins compression includes immobility and it may be due to trauma, masses, surgery, paralysis and long distance travel that may include uh, long hanging of the legs and causes stasis of the blood flow. Then comes the hypercoagulability. This may be inherited or acquired. Inherited involves factor 5 laden, protein C insufficiency, protein S insufficiency, antithrombin insufficiency. Acquired involves surgery, antiphospholipid antibodies formation or lupus anticoagulant formation, malignancy, polycythemia, smoking, hormone replacement therapy oral contraceptive pills, dehydration, pregnancy and perperium period may involve hypercoagulability. Let's see the clinical features of DVT. Clinical manifestations may be absent. Local features of venous engorgement and stasis that involves limb swelling, pain, erythema and warmth to the touch, mild fever and tachycardia, pulmonary embolism that is pleuritic chest pain, hemoptysis and shortness of breath, human sign involves calf pain on dorsiflexion of the foot that is very unreliable and should not be performed if the patient is suffering from DVTs. The differential diagnosis for DVT is cellulitis, bleeding into the calf muscle in patients on anticoagulants they may look like they are having DVT, torn calf muscles and ruptured Baker's cyst. These are all differential diagnoses for deep vein thrombosis. Now investigations involve D-dimer that is cleavage fragment from formed thrombus can be elevated in malignancy, infection and postoperatively. Duplex scan involves investigation of choice and visualizes anatomy of the deep vein thrombosis, gives extent of thrombosis, release on flow of blood and compressibility of vein. Third one is ascending venography. It is rarely used now. VQ scan if suspicion of pulmonary embolism. CT pulmonary angiography. It is most sensitive and specific investigation for suspected pulmonary embolism patients. And these are all investigations for DVT patients. Now what is well score? Well score is used to evaluate a patient with suspected DVT to establish the probability that is likely or unlikely. This means that it is a measuring tool that identifies that DVT is likely or unlikely. 
the wealth score is frequently then combined with the dimer estimation to guide further investigations or management variables are active cancer and it goes for one point paralysis paresis or recent plaster immobilization of the lower limb it goes one point and recently confined to bed for three plus days or major surgery within the previous 12 weeks localized tenderness along the distribution of the dvt system entire leg swelling calf swelling at least three centimeter larger pitting edema confined to the symptomatic leg collateral superficial veins previously documented dvts these all are uh, giving one point each and then alternative diagnosis at least as likely as dvt minus two points now let's interpret the wealth score if it is equal and less than one point then low probability for dvt is most likely and if it is greater than and equals to two points then dvt must be intermediate or high probability for dvt is present in the patient let's see the flow chart for wealth score that is low or either high low means dvt is unlikely and then go for d dimer test and if it is negative then discharge the patient but if it is positive then treat for dvt now let's come towards high dvt that is likely go for proximal ultrasound and this will involve negative and positive test if it is negative then repeat the ultrasound in six to eight days and then check or analyze the dvt presence if it is positive then treat for dvt now the management of dvt it involves treatment and prophylaxis treatment involves administration of anticoagulants thrombolysis and thrombectomy and use of filters and if prophylaxis occur then give mechanical treatment and pharmacological treatment Patients who are being admitted for surgery can be graded as low, moderate or high risk of prophylaxis. It means that patient is suffering from some kind of allergic reactions. Patients in the medium or high risk groups should be considered for anticoagulation prophylaxis. Mechanical method involves graduated compression stocking, intermittent pneumatic compressions, electrical stimulation devices. Pharmacological methods involve low molecular weight heparin that is given subcutaneously. Now this is classification of low risk, moderate risk and high risk. In low risk, there is minor surgery less than 30 minutes. It involves any age and no risk of factors involved. Major surgery is greater than 30 minutes. Age is less than 40, no other risk factors involve. Minor trauma or medical illness involve, it, it occur at any age and no risk factors involve. This is all about low risk, then come towards moderate risk, that is major surgery, age is 40 plus and presence of other risk factors also. Major medical illness is involved, that may be heart or lung disease, cancer, inflammatory bowel disease and can be major trauma or burns minor surgery trauma medical illness in patients with previous dvt pulmonary embolism or thrombophilia this was called moderate risk then third classification is high risk high risk involve major orthopedic surgery or fracture that is of pelvis hip and lower limb major abdominal pelvic surgery for cancer, major surgery, trauma, medical illness in patients with DVT, pulmonary embolism and thrombophilia, lower limb paralysis that may be stroke and paraplegia, major lower limb amputation. These are all involved in high risk degree for DVT. Treatment that is anticoagulations 
इट इज़ स्टार्टिड ऑन सबक्यूटेनियस लो मोलिकुलर वेट हैपरिन एंड रेपिडली एंटी कोगुलेंट विद वारफरिन अनलेस देर इज़ अ स्पेसिफिक कंट्रा इंडिकेशन अदरवाइज वी कैन गिव बर्थ टूगेदर वारफरिन इज यूजली स्टार्टिड एट अ डोज ऑफ टेन एम जी ऑन डे वन टेन एम जी ऑन डे टू एंड फाइव एम जी ऑन डे थ्री ए प्रोथ्रॉम्बिन टाइम दैट इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज पी टी टेकन ऑन डेज टू एंड थ्री अलॉन्ग विद अ वारफरिन डोज लॉगरिथम गाइड्स द मेनटेनेंस डोज ऑफ वारफरिन टारगेट आई एन आर शुड बी टू टू थ्री एंड ड्यूरेशन वुड बी थ्री मंथ्स इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज एंड दिस इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ डिविटीज दैट इन्वॉल्व एंटी कोगुलेशन दैन कम्स द थ्रोम्बोलाइस इट इज़ यूज इन मैसिव इलियोफेमरल थ्रोम्बोसिस टिश्यो प्लाजमिनोजिन एक्टिवेटर इज एडमिनिस्टर्ड डायरेक्टली इन टू द थ्रोम्बस आइदर बाय द पॉपलीटियल वेन और बाय डायरेक्ट पंक्चर इन द ग्रॉइन then comes the thrombectomy it is rarely now carry out surgical venous thrombectomy although it may still be attempted in patients with threatened venous gangrene and phlegmasia cerulea dolens now let's see the ivc filters that may be used for patients with a contraindication for anticoagulation significant complication related to anticoagulation recurrent thromboembolic disease on anticoagulation this means that in patients uh, that we can not give anticoagulants we can use ivc filters and in patients with inability to achieve adequate anticoagulation despite patient compliance we can use filters and that's all about deep vein thrombosis if you like this video then please subscribe